breaking tonight, a mishap on the launch pad. A SpaceX capsule built to send Americans into space suffers some kind of failure during a test. It sent a large plume of smoke into the air over the Cape, and we're still trying to learn more about what exactly happened. So News 6's Clay Lepard joins us now. And Clay, do we know how serious this was? Lauren, still a lot of questions surrounding this cloud of smoke captured by our news partner, Florida Today. Smoke that SpaceX is calling part of an anomaly today at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. A yellowish balloon cloud. For people here on Jetty Park, it was a sight they hadn't seen before. We noticed a big, like, reddish kind of smoke. And it was kind of like a kind of mushroomish looking and it kind of stayed around for a while. It didn't disperse like normal smoke. And then it just lingered for a long time. We've learned SpaceX engineers were carrying out a series of engine tests on a Crew Dragon test vehicle at landing zone one. In a brief statement, SpaceX said the initial tests completed successfully, but the final test resulted in an anomaly on the test stand. The Department of Environmental Protection says the anomaly caused hazardous materials to be released, but went on to say the anomaly was contained and no one was hurt. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine chimed in saying NASA is looking at the anomaly. Quote, this is why we test. We will learn, make the necessary adjustments, and safely move forward with our commercial crew program. Last month, the Crew Dragon spacecraft and Falcon 9 rocket launched from Pad 39A, the first time a commercial company launched an astronaut-ready spacecraft to the International Space Station. SpaceX and its Crew Dragon capsule were supposed to carry its first astronauts into space this summer or fall, making it the first manned spaceflight from U.S. soil since 2011. It's too soon to say, but many are now wondering what impact today's test will have on the timeline for that manned launch expected later this year. Lauren. Hey, thank you, Clay.